Three new additions are going to be in the lineup for this next game. I got the live series, Joey Votto at first. I got the flashback, Justin Upton in left. I had to take Griffey out. I had to do it. I wanted to leave Granderson and McCutcheon in, so Griffey is out. That mission's probably going to end for myself at some point, Tom. Like the 30 games are going to be up in any given any game now, I'm, I'm assuming, because I have played a good amount of games. And I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that the 30 game is going to be up soon. So I may just wait until the 30 games are up and then just try and get the mission right when it restarts. But this flashback, Justin Upton, is very sick. It's kind of one of those weird cards where he has very good contact versus righties. But he'll have better power versus lefties. And his contact versus lefties may not be that good. So he does have 80 contact versus righties. And what was it, like 88 power versus righties. So that's very good hitting stats versus righties. 62 vision as well which is definitely manageable. Anything above 60 is good if you ask me, especially with someone with 80 plus contact. And this Johnny Bench is also making the debut in this game. Look at those fielding stats. I'm just looking for a catcher. Even though Giovanni Soto has been doing very good for myself, like I've been surprised at how good the flashback Giovanni Soto has been doing, especially at the plate. I mean, this guy's been kind of not going off, but he's been getting you know, a couple base hits here and there. And much better than the flashback Jonathan Lucroy. So yeah, hopefully Johnny Bench and all these new additions can do something in this game. Because, yeah, man, I was just looking for a catcher who can possibly... With good blocking stats, even though, like I said, Giovanni Soto has very good blocking stats. And, you know, well, not very good blocking stats. He's just been doing very good. He may not have the best blocking stats, but he's been blocking pretty much everything behind the plate. So yeah, hopefully all these guys can get off to good starts. I think there's a new Joey Votto in the game. I'm not sure how old it's or how like long it's been in the game for. But I think it's a 96 overall. And it's just one of those cards who just destroys right-handers. I think he has high 90s contact, high 90s power. And then the hitting stats versus lefties is below average, 100%. His fielding on his live series card is much better. Well, not much better, but it's a couple attributes better, I'm pretty sure. The vision is the same. So the only difference between the live series Votto and that new flashback Votto, I think it's from 2010, is that he has much better power and contact on his uh, flashback card. But on his live series, he has, I think he has better hitting stats versus lefties on his live series than righties, I'm pretty sure. But just an overall better card for his live series, if you ask me. Like, better fielding. The vision is the exact same. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. And, yeah, the hitting stats overall are better versus righties and lefties, not just better against righties. You know, the, the power is still all right. It's not, you know, too bad or anything. So, yeah, man, Justin Upton's first at-bat. You know I'm trying to get something to go with him right away because I've been having a lot of good debut games so far for, you know, pretty much everybody. But, unfortunately, right there... That is a huge buzzkill, man. Whenever you just fly out in foul territory, that just sucks. So Justin Upton is obviously going to be getting a couple more bats in this game. So I was hoping I could do something with him later in this game. And with Johnny Bench too, Votto wasn't able to get a base hit in his first at-bat either. So yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens, what unfolds in this game. This guy had a half-decent squad. Nobody too crazy, although we did have the 92 Griffey. That was the only diamond in his lineup, I'm pretty sure. But D. Gordon starts this game off with a single up the gut. I got the flashback, Matt Garza on the mound again. Able to get the speed off the bases right there. I'm pretty sure that was Tulewitzki. Double play, no further damage done. So Johnny Bench's first at bat. I'm just going to be, this game, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to be showcasing all the new additions. Bench, Votto, and the flashback, Justin Upton. I'm probably going to do some more of the Team Epics too. And I'm looking to get Barry Larkin, man, because in MLB 16, I was doing very good with Barry Larkin. And he has 99 vision. I think his contact versus righties is only 70. But with 99 vision, you know that's going to be good. I think he destroys lefties. Like, his contact versus lefties might be high 90s as well. So high 90s contact and 99 vision against lefties, that just destroys lefties 100%. I think his uh, fielding is 80 with high 70s arm strength, and he has 89 speed too. So I'm definitely going to try and get Barry Larkin, man, because that was one of the first uh, cards that kind of stood out to me when I was looking at the Team Epic missions because, like I said, I was doing pretty good with Barry Larkin in MLB 16, even though that was a good amount of time ago. I think I think I had Barry Larkin around, you know, the summertime last year, and then, unfortunately, my stupid ass quick sold him on a later date. And then I wasn't able to use him ever again, which was, yeah, that was just a huge mistake for myself because Barry Larkin was doing good for the squad. He was hitting a lot of home runs too, I remember. 
I think his uh, whole, his uh, power versus righties on the card in this game is only like it's very low. It may even be in the 30s or 40s, but he does have 80 power versus lefties or something. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and get that Barry Larkin, Rendon. If I'm looking for anybody to heat up and just do something to try and make a case to stay in the lineup, it's Rendon. After the last previous you know couple games, Rendon has been doing terrible in the field, making multiple errors. But this game, he started off with a double, but I wasn't able to cash in any of those runs that were on base. I think he walked the next guy, too. So, yeah, I wasn't able to score any more runs. This guy's able to get another base hit. This was kind of a, this was just a, a strange slash ugly play all around. So, blocked by Johnny Bench, and then I didn't pick it up originally. Threw it to second base. For some reason, this guy got scared of second base and wanted to return to first. And then I'm tagging him out as he tries to go back to second base. Look at the shoestring grab by Justin Upton out there in the field, which is kind of good because I don't think, yeah, Justin Upton doesn't have the best fielding stats on this card. I think it's only in the 70s, which is definitely all right, but it's not in the 80s or 90s, so I mean, he may, he may make an error or two. Look at McCutcheon, dude. I knew for a fact McCutcheon was going to do something big in the first couple games. McCutcheon is already two for two in this one with a double and a solo shot. So McCutcheon is giving the squad the lead here in the third inning. one nothing now. Joey Votto is back up. And first pitch swinging again. Unfortunately, not able to get another base hit with Votto. Or just to get a base hit with Votto. So he is 0 for 2 in this game so far. So Justin Upton, that was an ugly ass at bat. Like I said, biggest buzz kill ever when you just fly out in foul territory. Especially with somebody you want to get going and just you want to have a good game with. That's not a good at bat for the first, yeah, for the first at bat. You don't want to be doing that. So yeah, this guy was starting me off with some stuff down and away. So you know for a fact he's going to go inside at some point in time. He's definitely going to go inside. Tries to right there. So looking at that one, 2-1 count now. I mean, this would be a good time to sit on, some, sit on the heat possibly. Able to make some solid contact on that one. It's hit pretty deep, but just to the edge of the warning track. Man, I, oh man, I thought that was going to be gone. That would have been clutch as hell. Not that clutch. It would have been epic. I guess I should have said it would have been epic for the squad to get off to a two-run lead, two solo shots in the inning. So not a bad at-bat right there for Justin Upton, just a fly ball to the warning track. Can't complain about that. I did make solid contact, so there's really nothing I could do about that. So, yeah, this guy was able to get another base hit in the bottom of the third inning, but wasn't able to get any more runs. So Johnny Bench is up now in the top of the fourth. His first at-bat went all right. It was a pretty lengthy at-bat, so I mean, yeah, made the pitcher work a little bit. Made this guy throw a lot of pitches right there. Ground rule double, so Johnny Bench gets a double in his debut game, so possibly Johnny Bench can remain in the game. Look at Rendon. Rendon trying to make his case to stay in the lineup, that bastard. That damn guy, man. Rendon, this is the case, man. You always, you're always on the edge of taking people out of your lineup, and then they start going off. Rendon already two for two in this game. Able to cash in the run right there. Thank God Escobar has that speed. And I was able to get another run on the board. So now going up 2-0. Next inning now, Joey Votto is up on the top of the fifth. First pitch swinging again. Able to get a single. So Votto and Bench are on the board. Just need to get Justin Upton on the board now. Who is coming up to the plate right now. So I mean, it w I was just hoping this guy was going to put in a lefty at some point in time. I mean, he paused right there. So I don't know. Maybe this guy was just trying to see if a lefty was coming, or, or I don't even know what he was doing. But either way, I am trying to get something going with Justin Upton in this game. I'm already 0 for 2, and like I said, already got some base hits with Votto and Bench in their debut games. But again, if, you know, that was pretty decent at bat again. Didn't make him throw a lot of pitches or anything, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a little weak fly ball behind home plate or something. So Justin Upton grounds out to shortstop. And that ends that inning. So next inning, I think I walked the first guy. He was able to make it to second base. And then right there hits a chopper. And he makes it into first. So this is when rallies get started. When strange ass shit starts to happen. So D Gordon is up. There's only one down. So, I mean, it would be very difficult to double up D Gordon 100%. He would have to hit that very hard at somebody. Yeah, it would have to be a very hard hit ground ball right at the second baseman or shortstop. For even there to be a chance to double up D Gordon at first. So around three or four pitches into this at bat, he delivers. That is a line drive into left. He cashes in that run. There's still only one down. Nelson Cruz is up next. I was just saying, don't give up anything. Don't give up a home run right now or anything. I don't give up the home run, but that's a base hit in the left field. He cashes in two. And oh man, this guy's taking the lead. 
So this is, I don't know, just rallies. Rallies are always being started in this game. Wasn't able to get anything other than that. But he's going up in this game 3-2. Which is big for this guy because, yeah, I mean, the bats were... I was making some good swings, but I think I only had around five or six hits up until this point. So I'm still looking to get the bats going even more. Now we're in the top of the sixth. Rendon gets another base hit. So look at Rendon. Rendon is legit trying to stay in the lineup because if there's any, if there's going to be another position I'm going to try and, you know, get someone else at, it's going to be third base. So Rendon is already 3-for-3 three three in this game. Escobar goes down swinging to end that inning. So now in the bottom of the six, he's getting another base hit against uh, Glenn Perkins. That was the first batter Glenn Perkins faced in this game. So since he had a couple more righties coming to the plate, you know I'm putting in a righty. Kelvin Herrera is one of those sketchy guys. Don't give up a home run. I'm terrified as hell. Terrified as shit to face Nelson Cruz in this damn game, man. I'm telling you, I'm terrified as hell to face this guy, but he goes down swinging right there with two guys on base. So big out right there, big strikeout from Kelvin Herrera. Joey Votto is up again. Not able to uh, get a hold of that one, just a weak fly ball to left field. So that was the first out of this inning, I believe. So just up, Justin Upton is already 0 for 3, but the last two at-bats were all right. I mean, like I said, it wasn't you know, weak fly balls or just weak choppers right in front of home plate or something. Was able to make some solid contact right there. Come on, man. This is the debut game for Justin Upton and the Zebras are already making some sketchy-ass calls behind the plate. So right there, I'm kind of getting squeezed. So, I mean, ah oh, man. Again, getting jammed again. So Justin Upton is 0 for 4 so far in this game. Hopefully if I can string together a rally or something, I could get him to the plate again. But Votto and Bench already having some, you know, half-decent debut games. Bench already has the double. Votto already has the single. So right there trying to get a hit and run going. Wasn't able to squeak by D. Gordon at second base. So he throws Johnny Bench out. So I think everyone is 1 for 4. In their or what, bench and Votto are one for four in their debut games, and Upton is 0 for four. But yeah, it's all right. No panic. Justin Upton is going to be doing something at later dates. It's not like he has to come out and just go crazy in his debut game or anything. And as I'm saying that, he hits one deep in the bottom of the eighth. The eighth inning might be a curse because if you're up one run or some shit in the eighth inning, all you want to do is just. Hold, hold, you know, don't want to get your opponent any more runs. And then he sends one deep to go up 5-2 in this game. I have no idea. You know you're having a good day at the plate when that shit goes down as a base hit. So Rendon gets his fourth hit of this game. Able to get the leadoff guy on base in the ninth inning. I need to get a big rally going in this inning. Escobar delivers two. So one swing of the bat now with two guys on base could possibly tie this game up. Matt Holiday is in for the pitcher. You know I'm swinging for the fences right here. Ah! M man! Holiday just, you know what I mean? I'm swinging for the fences 100%. Getting under that one fly ball behind home plate. Makes the grab easily. And then Granderson is up next. Doing the same! Just getting under that one too. That's the infield fly right there. So now two down for McCutcheon. McCutcheon is our last hope in this game. He already sent one deep in this game. So McCutcheon can do it again. He can have a huge game in this one. All he needs to do, just someone to the gap, get him on second base or something, cash in two. Weak chopper in front of the plate, able to make the play. I thought he was going to run that out for sure. How didn't McCutcheon run that out? He makes the play. That's the final out of this game. This guy's walking away with the W. That was a very good game. I am happy this guy was a normal person and, you know, did everything. You know, that was just a good game overall. That's all I can say about that. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I mean, I'm going to leave Justin up in the line for a little bit. Obviously, he's going to be getting something going at some point. Do not panic. If you enjoy, leave a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video.